orthopedic.com and I am talking today with Dr. Charles Wittenberg with Orthopedic Center of Arlington. Hello. Are you doing okay? Good, thank you. Um, well, in the past we talked a bit, little bit about total knee replacements mm -hmm. and I think most people at some point in their life have heard of those. Right. Um, but can you tell us what a macoplasty partial knee replacement mm -hmm. is? That's a little bit of a new technique. It's a different way of doing a partial knee replacement. A partial knee replacement is basically when we're just doing one side of the knee. We typically talk about a knee having three different compartments. A partial is where we're just doing one compartment. And that's because the patient's arthritis is mainly limited to that compartment. So a macoplasty is just a different way of doing a partial knee replacement. In Over the history of partial knee replacement, one of the difficulties of, of partial knee replacement has always been we're doing it through a limited incision so it's difficult to, it's more difficult to accurately place the implants. They're smaller implants, there's not as much, uh, there's not as many landmarks that you're looking at inside of the knee. You're looking through a smaller incision. So historically it's a little bit more difficult to get super accurate placement of the implants and that's what the, that's what the state of the art has always worked towards. So macoplasty is a way of accomplishing that. What we do is we start off with a CAT scan, a CT scan, which is a, which is a form of 3D x-ray that takes multiple slice images of the knee and that data is fed into a computer to create a 3D model of the actual patient's knee in a computer. What's great about that is then we can take virtual, you know everything's virtual these days, we take virtual representations of the implants and we can virtually put those in the patient's knee in the computer and we can move those around in the computer and get them situated just so so that the tracking is perfect, the positioning of the implants is perfect, uh, the gap between the bones is just so, the ligament balancing is just so. And so you can accomplish all that in, in the virtual world, in the computer, before you ever even take the patient to the operating room. Then on the day of the operation what happens is that that data is all fed into a computer. I know this sounds science fiction, but we take the, we take the knee and then we put tracking points on the knee so that the computer can actually see the knee. And then that virtual model in the computer is superimposed over what we're seeing in real life. And then that data is fed into a robotic arm that then allows us to very precisely machine out just the part of the bones that's necessary to put those implants in, in a perfect position. When we end up putting those implants into the person's knee, it very, very closely matches the plan that was done preoperatively in the computer. And that level of precision has really never been possible before. And it basically, it, it makes every procedure a perfect placement procedure. And over time, implant positioning has been shown to be the one thing that affects the longevity of the knee replacement, the success of the knee replacement, the level of pain relief that the patient gets and it just makes everything so much nicer. Well, I'm fascinated already, and I know um, as a doctor you have to love science, yeah. so this must be a dream world it's, for you at this point. It's great because it's science and computers and surgery all mixed into one. That is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for being with us today. Sure, thank Again, you. Again, this is Dr. Charles Wittenberg with Orthopedic Center of Arlington, and if you want to learn a little bit more about us, take a look at Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. I'm Elisa with JustOrthopedic.com.